Hey guys, we're not going to be able to film uh, putting that barrier in underneath because it's just too dark. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and go down there. We've got about half of it done. We're going to do the other half. I had ran out of the little hangers that actually uh, hold the insulation up and I went ahead and bought some extra staples. Um, so we're just letting you guys know that the uh, barrier is being installed underneath uh, the cabin so once that's done not only will the floor have been protected with that and insulation but also the walls and the ceiling so I'll be actually encased in insulation and radiant barrier anyway we're gonna go ahead and crawl up under there and see if we can't knock that other half out uh, we wish we could get some video I did try but it's not turning out too well because I have to use the GoPro under there and it's not turning out so um, you, I mean, you could see maybe the lights moving around, but not really any other definition of anything. So, anyway, uh, we'll check back with you guys shortly. Well guys, we just got done. We had some pretty nasty clothes, didn't we? Really nasty. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we got that done. That is what the radiant barrier looks like up under there, tacked all to all the floor joists. So even the radiant heat that may penetrate through the floor joists, you know, because I've got the insulation in there, um, it can actually uh, penetrate through wood. But once it gets down to that radiant barrier, it's trapped, it can't go anywhere and whatever gets underneath like in the summertime uh, if it gets hot it can't rise because it that radiant barrier will trap it so um, i think that it's doing its job because when i went to pick him up uh, today when we came home the fire had died out and uh, that's the first thing i commented on yeah it was quite warm in there yeah. so i'm thankful that i went ahead and put that in there because i think it is going to make a difference anyway that job is done. We just wanted to give you, since we weren't able to get any film, we just wanted to show you what it looks like underneath.
Hey guys, welcome back to the cabin. Uh, what Patrick and I are going to be working on, I cut down a few small trees here. Um, I had some that were dead standing and then I had a few that were going to be needed to come out anyway. I'm going to continue this walkway up to the back door of the chicken house up there so in the winter time I don't have to walk in the mud basically. And it'll make a nice little pathway up here so I've got a bunch of logs that are stacked up over there that have been um, laying here for a little over a year and that's what I'm going to use to continue this I think I've got enough of them to continue this pathway up here and I can get rid of some of those rocks and uh, finish like I said doing this walkway up to the chicken house so hope you guys sit back stay tuned and enjoy the video about the same width.
tools are new, get a little bit harder to handle. What do you mean? I mean opening them up. Oh, okay. You know. Hey guys, what we're doing is we are starting to make up the light fixtures for the cabin. Um, we decided that what we wanted to use, since we used a lot of black angle iron, is we wanted to make our sconce lights, which is pretty much going to be the cabin's lights. Um, that's how I kind of designed the whole cabin, to have sconce lights. Um, that we were going to use um, black metal and what we will do actually we can't get these in black metal yeah I mean, at the store probably, locally you can yeah, we probably, probably yeah. special order them but what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, black spray paint and paint the whole thing once we're done that way we can cover up any thread work or anything like that that happens to be uh, silver so what we thought we would do is we would uh, show you the process of making this up, but if you wanted to order uh, something like this from us, we don't mind to actually make them up. Um, we figured that the price would be $30 plus shipping if that's what you would like. Now, you don't necessarily have to have this design, but I'm going to show you the design that I have chosen uh, for this. So let me basically which would be this right here um, and what I did was I cut out a 14 inch board okay so what we're going to end up with basically is a light that will be mounted somewhere right in here and I wanted the backdrop of the light to be the board also you know I could cut the board off down here like so um, but I think it looks much better as a unit if it's mounted like this so what I will do is I will drill the holes out in here that actually go into uh, the box that I've got mounted the electrical box and then this right here will screw onto the board and so then all I have to do is basically put that on there and I'll have to drill a hole through here for the yeah. wires to run through but that's what primarily it will look like of course this will all be painted black yeah, and these bulb these bulbs are temporary. I'm gonna get him ones that have a uh, the amber uh, tinted uh, glass. But uh, these are pretty cool, and trust me, they're heavy duty. So, um, like I said, you know, if you want to order something like this, just be sure and shoot us an email. We don't mind a bit in the world uh, to make this up and ship it to you. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish. Um, putting these other two together so that you can see this process and so basically we figured that we needed 24 of these so we're only making up three here to kind of show you the process but uh, hope that this is you know something that's interesting to you um, yeah. and all of this metal right here will match all of that metal that I've got the angle iron and stuff and it kind of go with the whole theme of the cabin yeah. being heavy duty you know so yeah. anyway let's go ahead and Finish this. I'm cutting these off at about half an inch, three eighths, maybe. Uh, to be able to go up into this little inline connector. So this first piece that I put the socket into, it needs to be uh, large enough to fit the socket. Um, so that happens to be a one and a quarter to a three quarter reducer. Um, that's just the style that we chose to, to get. Uh, I will link the other video that I made when I made uh, the design that I made in Texas at my church, which I used half inch piping. So in order to get that, we would go one and a quarter to three quarter reducer. And then we put a bushing there to reduce it to half inch. And then all that piping was half inch. 
but he chose to just stick with three-quarter piping so that meant that every other uh, fix, uh, fixing after that had to be three-quarters so that's what we have here these uh, two sections that extend from the wall and then up to the bulb are all two and a half inches you can choose whatever length that you like to come out from the wall and up or down up to the side he chose two and a half You know, this, this is not a lot of um, progress making these things up, but they're just odds and ends that have to be done. Um, just like, you know, all my switches that I'm going to have to wire in, all the receptacles that I'm going to have to put in. So we're just trying to, you know, uh, fill up the holes. And um, The other thing I'll say about this these plugs that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store is a lot of times the... Um, since there's a rubber casing on the outside, the uh, little tab on the inside, a lot of times I'll stick my finger down in there or, you know, something to grab the little tab, pull it up some. Because depending on what bulb you choose, when you stick it in there, it may not make contact. So just pull it up a little bit. Sometimes they can be a little, they can be laying a little flat. Uh, so that's what I choose to do. And then uh, you always want to leave enough wire, that way you can do your work and then stick it back in the box. You never want to uh, cut your wire too short because once it's too short might as well go ahead and redo it. Uh, other thing too is this wiring could have used heat shrink but I decided not to because it tapes a whole lot cheaper and I've done a lot of it so not a big deal. Yeah. We are crimping them And uh, this, if you choose to get the black iron, because they do sell it in black iron and galvanized, if you choose to get uh, this pipe, um, I've done a lot of work with this black iron, and it will leave your hands uh, pretty greasy. So uh, just keep that in mind. You might want to wear gloves or just have some <laughs> cleaner next to you. Last thing I'll say if you're making these up yourself is when you're messing with electrical wire that you know doesn't have much of a jacket, uh, whenever you're running it through threaded portions like this, you always want to be extra careful because it can nick that jacket and then that copper is going to be exposed and you don't want that with anything electrical. So as you're twisting stuff around, try to you know, keep those wires away from the thread so it's not just shredding away at that yeah, don't jacket. Don't twist this portion yeah. because it will twist the wire around and around. So I'm holding onto this wire. There we go. I've made stair rails out of this stuff, made light fixtures, made all kinds of stuff. Uh, desk, 
legs out of this stuff. You can get it in any size. You can get them in one inch, three quarter, half inch, three eighths. I think they even make it in. There's three fixtures. Yeah. So, like I said, this right here is my sconce lights that are going to be mounted in the cabin everywhere. You know, I could have mounted them this way if I'd have chose to. Mm -hmm. You could have put a T, a, a T on this, and then mounted it two like this. Yeah. You could have mounted a T there and went one up and one down. Yeah. I just decided to do this number right here, yeah. and uh, I think to me that looks the best and takes up the least amount of space. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, we certainly appreciate you stopping by and visiting with us here at the outpost. We hope that this was informative if you decide to do something like this yourself. Um, if you do like it and you don't want to, like I said, you can drop us uh, an email um, out on our website, actually, SmokyMountainOutpost.com. And we won't mind a bit in the world to make it up. And like he said, he will have some other designs there that you could choose from if that's what you wish. And we'll make them up and send them to you. Um, of course, you know, if there's more hardware, we'll also put the prices on there, you know, what it would cost to have that plus shipping. Um, but these right here, you know, we could make these up for around 30 bucks plus shipping and send them to you. Um, but, uh, yeah, be sure to go to our website and check out all the details, especially if you're new to this channel. Um, we do monthly giveaways on both channels, so all of the details there on how to enter. And we have a new tier system, which we're not very far from giving away two MS-180 steel chainsaws uh, because of our new milestone. And We uh, use ours all the time. Yeah, as long, uh, also with um, our monthly giveaways that we do, just, you know, for you guys that tune in and watch the channel. Um, so if you're new here, be sure to go check out our other channel, Outpost Review. That's more of a behind-the-scenes question and answer. Um, towards the end of the video, if you're interested in watching some of that review channel, you can click the bottom left-hand corner. If you're interested in watching more of the Outpost channel, you can click the top left-hand corner. Also, um, winter's not far away because it is fall now. We've got a lot of winter wear, um, t-shirts, things like that in our store. Down around the description area underneath the video, you can find a link there. Be sure and go check that out because holidays are coming up. There may be something there that you're interested in getting someone or something that you might want to get for yourself. So be sure and go check that out. Guys, we certainly do. My son, my daughter and I, we appreciate you guys, uh, like I said, stopping by and tuning in. Um, we can't thank you enough for that and sharing it with your family, friends, and neighbors. Um, so we hope that each and every one of you have a great afternoon. Everyone take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time. Thank you.